Hi, I'm Shoestring Jane. and welcome back to my channel. Today I have done a food haul with a slight difference. I've still gone to Aldi. So as you may know, I usually shop at Aldi or Lidl because I find them so much cheaper. But um, I am going to try to eat more plant-based, not entirely plant-based, so I'm not completely giving up dairy or maybe not even meat and fish, but very small amounts. Um, or eggs, but they'll they're going to take a back seat and I'm mainly focusing on plant-based meals and I'm going to stop eating so much sugar and drinking wine and any alcohol, but wine is my tipple, my favourite tipple, um, and chocolate and crisps. I think I'm just a terrible snacker and Justin never was a terrible snacker, but I think I've made him into one as well. So we're both naturally quite slim and we've both put on quite a lot of weight over the last couple of years and like a taking a size bigger in all of our clothes and that kind of thing and mine mainly sits around my middle around my belly um, and I've always I've wanted to really just to to be vegetarian or vegan for such a long time but the thing that puts me off is that I have IBS and without going into too many details, certain things that you would eat on a vegan diet particularly, I just can't stomach. So I'm going to go slowly. There's a few things I, I'm going to try and see how they affect me. I'm not going to touch soya. That's a really bad trigger for me. It's, I'm also lactose intolerant and it's just as bad. I couldn't work out what was wrong with me for ages because I switched from milk to soya milk and I was even worse and I couldn't work out why. Then I realised that soya was a a bad trigger. So anyway, I thought I'd go through um, my shopping today, see if it works out more expensive, see if I can eat healthily a week and eat healthily for the week, eating mostly plant-based food, see if it lets us lose some weight if we've got that kind of focus. I really hope it does. Um, so I spent all together on just food, on the healthy food, I spent £40.35 in Aldi and I do think I've got a lot of food for that so I would say that's about average really for a spend for us. Um, I spent actually all together £60 and 7p but I've taken off some things that were a, a gift. I'm making a gift hamper for a friend of mine so lots of things were for her hamper so they're, they're not things that, that we're going to eat and any household stuff and some stuff for the dog so I've taken all of those off so um, I'll go through it. What I had to do first of all was go and get myself a new mask because when we were on holiday in Norfolk last week we were on the beach and this absolute gorgeous bouncy poodle came bounding up to us and he was really lovely but his owners were just not even taking any notice of what he did and he stuck his nose in my bag, stole my favourite mask and ran off with it and I thought oh he's going to drop it or I'll be able to get it from him or his his owners will get off them their backsides and go and get it out of his mouth but they just sat there and he literally just chomped it he chewed it up and ate it and it was a fabric mask with like a metal bit around the nose I'll show you actually because I bought I had to go and buy some more so it's I bought two of these treated myself <laughs> three pounds fifty each um, there's a Bernardo's charity shop sells these and they're the best ones I found most comfortable and they just uh, don't make you face sweat and that kind of thing and you can wash them so um, so I got two of those first so that I could go into LD without having a horrible disposable mask that I just found dug out the bottom of my handbag that was all hairy and made my nose itch so I got those but yeah very odd that those those people they I rushed over to say your dog's just eaten my mask and they just went, oh, well, it's about the 10th mask he's eaten. But we're on holiday, so we won't be going to the vets. So I thought, well, let's just hope he survives the 10th mask and he's survived nine others. But it was funny. <laughs> Archie never does anything like that. It's quite funny. Anyway, stop rabbiting. Get on with the haul. So I bought, I'd say, lots of focus on fresh vegetables. Um, I bought this sweetheart cabbage which was 47p so it's sweet hot cabbage I really like these anyway I like they're great for stir fries and that is what I've got planned for that and they had on special peppers at 29p each which was much cheaper than buying a pack of peppers and I preferred just the red ones anyway so normally I'll get and try and get a pack a multi-pack that has 
more sort of yellows and reds in not really greens because i'm not so keen on those but yeah so that worked out really quite good because i'm going to be having lots of salads i bought um some wild rocket that was I tried to be organised and write it all on, but uh, oh, it's on, it's right on the front. 35p, that's 35p. Baby spinach, that was 79p, which I think is quite good because sometimes spinach can be really expensive. So that was quite good. Um, I bought some celery because I use celery instead of onions. I, I can't stomach onions, so I use celery instead, and that was over 47p. I bought some courgettes so this was a bit galling to me because we always grow courgettes that we always grow something in the garden usually tomatoes and courgettes at a bare minimum and this year we didn't do anything we were just thinking we're going to focus on a bit of DIY and getting the house sorted and not do a veggie garden but I did regret not doing courgettes because that's something I'm so used to having a glut of and I make lots of soup and freeze some and then when I saw these were one pound fifteen for three I was thinking oh I have tons of those for free but next year we'll do some more we'll do some more grow your own um for snacking and instead of desserts I bought some grapes I love red grapes I prefer them to the green ones they were one pound thirty nine I as I say I'm still going to eat some dairy um I like some sort of buttery stuff when I'm eating bread um, I don't think I'm ready to do without that and this is less processed so it's in terms of a whole food diet I think that butter is better plus of course you don't have a plastic um, container for it just this paper and foil bit they're 147 each so it's quite expensive butter I think dairy is quite expensive in comparison anyway to the vegan stuff um, I also bought some cheddar so again I'm going to eat small amounts of cheddar um, that was 179 garlic because you've got to have garlic 55p for four I bought one massive sweet potato because I want to eat some but I don't I haven't got that many recipes I want to incorporate a bag of sweet potatoes in and I didn't want lots of waste so that big one was 58p so I don't know if we'll use that in one meal or more than one at the moment I already eaten a bowl of this because I got back and it was 11 o'clock and I was absolutely starving so I got a big thing of sugar-free muesli and that was £1.69. Um, I had to hunt for the sugar-free because it looks all healthy and then when you look at it sugar is one of the top ingredients. I suppose that is kind of, you can't say that's unprocessed, it's a bit processed but in comparison to your sugary cereals it's much better. Um, I also got a parsley plant which I plan to repot, I've done that before and they've just grown and last for ages and so we didn't grow any of our own this year either, that was 47p. Um, so let's go on to this bag now. I did quite a lot, I saved a lot for the money that I, I spent, I think I really got a lot. So um, I bought a thing of broccoli, 47p. This again is, you could say this was processed. Um, but I realistically didn't think I would get around to making my own hummus. So I bought a pot for 69p. I might go back to making some at some point. I used to always make it because you couldn't buy it in pots. I remember years ago when I was vegetarian, when I, in my teens and early 20s, you, you made it or you didn't have it. So um, I bought some, they were only 60p, these mushrooms, because they were reduced. But we use those fairly quickly. I also bought the ripen at home avocados because they tend to be cheaper but actually they're, they're almost ripe. I mean I might leave them out for a day or so but then they suddenly all, they all ripen don't they. They were a pound five p which is not too bad because there are four in there and one they're small but you know that's fine for a salad isn't it. It's better than having half an avocado hanging around it never does well does it. Um, rough oat cakes um, so I'm not going to, I am going to eat bread this week, um, I'm not going to eat masses of bread and I do like oat cakes with maybe some peanut butter on them and those are 55p. I thought I would, oh no there's not that I'll get, I'll get to the, it's black beans, I, I thought I would try black beans this week because I have never tried those and I can eat some pulses so I thought well, I need to get some protein from somewhere other than just nuts so I did buy some black beans but they must be one of the other bags. Um, so a can of coconut milk because I love that anyway, I always have that in the cupboard. That was 55p. Two tins of tomatoes just to top up the ones we've got, we do have some, they're 28p each but I use a lot of those. Um, 
to be snacking again on bananas and chopping them up in my cereal and these work out 13 pence each and I bought more than normal they're very green and I think I'm going to be eating a lot more so I think I can eat those before they go brown so I, I will eat bread but I thought I'd go for the wholemeal rye and see what that look what that's like um I mean I do like it it's quite strong tasting but rather than the pulpy bread I don't think again I'm not going to get around to making my own bread realistically this week the pulpy cheap stuff that they did in Aldi I thought I just I don't really want that and often it's full of soya they could do a couple of loaves in there that I can eat that don't have any soya in it but I thought I'd try this one 95p and if I remember from eating it before it's very filling it's quite dense I only bought six eggs for us for 75p because I'm not going to eat as many eggs as normal. We actually eat loads of eggs usually, but I'm going to try and focus my protein and get it my protein by other sources. 27p for some tomato puree, so that's handy for stews and things. Um, I bought some lemons because um, some of the recipes I'm looking at doing required lemons so I've just bought a wonky pack of lemons from Aldi for 35p it's very cheap isn't it and what I tend to do with lemons is if I haven't used them quickly enough I'll slice them and freeze them flat um, and then use them like that in drinks so because I'm not going to be on the gin and tonic I might then see if I can perhaps take the juice out and freeze that instead um, wholemeal pitters for 35p and again, for the salads and things that I intend to make, I bought British Romain lettuce. I much prefer this lettuce to, I like quite like little gems, but they come because they're little, they go really quickly. Um, and I prefer this one, I think it's got more flavour. It's 89p. So that's another bag done. And then my final bag, is, I've got a lot, haven't I, for £40. Tons of stuff, so I actually can eat healthily. I mean, I think this is more than a week's worth of food what well, definitely is something's gonna last a lot longer um the cupboards are really bare because we just got back from holiday but um we still won't eat all of this in a week if i were a family of four we'd do all right with this lot, i think um i did still buy some milk with lacto with lactose free milk rather some cow's milk um that's 79p each i bought two of those because um although i've swapped to oat milk and coffee cereal and that kind of thing i do like lactose lactose free in my tea i'm not really quite ready to give that up yet and in case i just give in cave and desperate for something vaguely unhealthy i bought 85 percent cocoa dark chocolate because i quite like that and you don't need to eat a lot of it do you I've just notice it's got soya in it but i think it'll just be a tiny amount and i'm not going to eat great large chunks of it i mean i won't eat all that bar in one night so um, i've got lots of nuts and although nuts seem very expensive, really, compared to meat, they're not really. And they're so much better for you, full of healthy fats and protein and fibre. Um, so I bought cashew nuts for 159, almonds for 155, and walnuts, which are the most expensive of all. I've never really noticed that before. The walnut halves were £2.09, and I suppose you could cut that down if you could find the chopped variety of walnuts that would be cheaper then. Oh, here were the black beans I was going on about earlier so they were 49 pence let's just get rid of that and I bought a can of green lentils also 49 pence and I bought the whole wheat pasta and um, I remember I bought the last time I bought this I got it from Lidl and I really didn't like the little one it was um I don't know, it's kind of grainy, is the only way. I mean, I know it's whole grain, but it tasted um, gritty. Gritty, I think, is what I'm trying to say. And I just really did not like that at all. But I thought, well, I'll try the whole wheat Aldi one, see if that's any better. And I've used whole wheat pasta before and thought it was fine. So I don't know why I didn't like that one. I do still have in the cupboard quite a lot of white pasta. So we will be using that as well because I don't want to waste it. I bought this peanut butter crunchy peanut butter the foodie market and this is really good because it's literally just contains peanuts it's got no oil in it certainly no palm oil no salt or anything it's just peanuts so that'll be good for snacks on my own cakes one of the recipes I want to do 
called for red wine vinegar. I don't normally buy this, but they had it in LD, so I thought I'd get a bottle. I could experiment with salad dressings and things with that. That was 99 pence. Same whole grain mustard. I use that a lot in salad dressings. That was 35 pence. I bought some olives. I just bought some cheap ones because you can really spend a lot on fancy olives, but I quite like the cheap ones. So I got these ones for 49p. The deli at LD. And finally, out of this bag, some chia seeds. So whole chia seeds. I don't remember reading that you is they're hard to digest, whole chia seeds, but they're selling it as a natural superfood, so presumably you can digest it. That's £1.35, and I'll just sprinkle those on salads, cereals, and whatever meals we're having. So that kind of ups the protein. Um, and they have lots of good fats and that kind of things as well. So yeah. So that's all the healthy stuff. So I think I've done really well for the money that I paid. Um, also, I'll just show you what else I bought while I'm here. <laughs> this is not healthy. <laughs> so my friend's getting married. She doesn't watch my channel. I'm pretty sure she doesn't watch my channel. And I was thinking, well, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I am doing a secondhand year and that includes gifting. So I was thinking, well, she and her partner have been together a while. They already live together they've got a flat they've got a small flat and three children buying them more stuff makes no sense i'm sure they're not going to want any more stuff um say so they've got very restricted space as it is so i thought i would get go for consumables um in a second hand basket so i do have a, a wicker basket that i picked up i think my mum had it in her garage actually so i'm going to line that try and find some some look through some of the fabric i've got and line it with some nice fabric and then fill it with just little silly things that um, we'll and call it the wedding recovery kit and give them that. So I picked up in Aldi something called the Wellness Library Cards, um, 150 Ways to Slow Down, Stay Inspired and Serve Those Around You. So it's positive vibes, good deeds and less stress. So I thought that'd be funny to have in the wedding recovery hamper. And then I bought Two packs of drumstick squishies because they, they have three children so I thought they might like the, the treats. I picked up this candle, I think this was 350 Oasis, Oasis Retreat Violet and Bergamot candle. I think that's quite nice. I thought that would be nice in the, the hamper. I put two cans of gin and tonic. I think they were 85 pence each and two mini bottles of wine. I think these were, I think it was 149 each. I think they were 149 each, 139 each. So it's quite an expensive way of buying wine, but I want them to fit in my hamper, so I thought I'd get those. Um, and I've got as well already for them a big thing of de-stressing bubble bath and some chocolate. And I'm going to try and pick up some massage oil from somewhere so I can if I'm not buying second hand I can get um, consumables so all of those things bar the wellness library cards are consumable so that kind of sticks within my rules for gift giving so I also bought some frozen fruit which is in the freezer I didn't want to leave that out so that's everything that I got today so I did spend quite a bit of money in the end but it's not too bad I, mean, I do really think I've got a lot for my money um, I just wanted to talk about um, where I was getting the inspiration from to try the plant-based whole food diet. Um, and it was because I was reading, I read a quote from Michael Pollan. I've come across it a few times. Um, I think he's been around for years. I think he was quite pioneering in um, saying that we're eating too much processed stuff. We eat too much meat. You know, for, for people that have so much choice, we have such an unhealthy diet, although he was particularly focusing on the US. I don't think the UK is any better than the US in terms of what they eat now. I think it's just there's lots and lots of junk food. So he's, his rules are eat food, not too much, mostly plants. So when he says eat food, he means eat real whole foods. Um, not too much, he said, you should always leave the table before you feel, before you feel totally full 
and most of what you eat should be plants. So I thought, well, actually, you know, that just makes so much sense. I'm going to have a go at doing that. I'm going to see if I can still do it on a budget. I did a blog post on my blog, shoestringcottage.com recently, where I compared Aldi to Lidl. And I'll leave a link below in terms of vegan stroke vegetarian, but mainly vegan eating. Because um, a, little, a young friend of mine, Jade, had said, I'm going to university. It's going to be so expensive for me to eat my, veg my vegan diet. And I thought, no, that's mad. Because, you know, in my day, a vegan diet was easy. You just made a chickpea curry or a, a stew with kidney beans and things like that. It was dead cheap. You know, you even you didn't even buy canned beans. You just you soaked them and cooked them. It was so cheap and the vegetables. But she was talking about buying kind of processed vegan foods, which I don't think are necessarily any better for you than the meat versions. But it was interesting to see what they sell. They do sell a lot of vegan stuff in Aldi and, and Lidl now. I don't think I'm going to be eating that kind of processed stuff. Well, I'm not. I'm definitely not. The only things I'll buy are things like um, the breads that are ready made and maybe the hummus. Although I say I might try and make my own. So I'm going to try to be... Well, I tend to cook from scratch anyway, but I'm going to try to be very good about not eating any processed stuff, not snacking on rubbish and crisps and chocolate and that sort of thing, not drinking in the evening. I'll have the very odd glass of wine, very odd G&T maybe, but nothing very much. It's going to be an occasional treat. So until I can shift this flab <laughs> and then um, and hopefully Justin can shift his as well because he never puts on weight so the fact that he has must mean we're doing something very wrong so yeah I think it is possible to eat really healthily on a budget um, but just don't eat the junk stuff with it don't eat the processed stuff um, and be prepared to do some basic cooking you don't have to do anything massively complicated you know chop up a load of vegetables make a stir fry or a big salad and chuck some nuts on top that's all, all I intend to do I'm not going to be fanning around doing anything too complicated so we'll see so I'm going to um, leave some links below I'll perhaps put my meal plan below so you can have a look and see what we're planning to eat this week and then I'll get back to you probably in a future vlog and let you know how we got on so anyway that is me for now Remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love it if you commented below and let me know what how you eat and whether you think a plant-based based diet is good and whether it's possible on a budget. Um, remember, you can come over and join my Facebook group if you like to chat to like-minded individuals. We've got, it's called My Second Hand and Frugal Life. We've got about two and a half thousand subscribers on there now, so that's really taking off. It's a lovely community though. Um, and have a look at my blog, so I'll leave all the links below as to where you can find me and I will see you next time. So bye for now.